The Economic Community of West African States have stressed the importance of political stability, peace and security for the prosperity of the region. President of ECOWAS Commission said that political stability would enable the region to enjoy the free flow of investments and improve socio-economic relations among the various member countries. He added that the commission was undeterred by the actions of the military junta in Niger Republic in respect of the humanitarian efforts of the ECOWAS leaders. The ECOWAS Commission president, however, highlighted some challenges faced by the commission, but quickly added that foreign partners had been of help all along. The flow of foreign capital and intra-regional trade and investment have been affected by the risk rating of our region. We are challenged to improve the business environment in our communities, to take advantage of the growing interest of investors in our community. We have made the development of reg regional infrastructure and business-friendly policies a cornerstone of our integration. It is in this context that on 17th November 2023, we commissioned the International Coordination Center of the West Africa Power Pool in Benin, in the Republic of Benin, which now enables trade in electricity across our region. It is in this context that on 17th November 2023, we commissioned the International Coordination Center of the West Africa Power Pool in Benin, in the Republic of Benin, which now enables trade in electricity across our region. Excellencies, allow me to conclude by highlighting the situation of the community levy which is the lifeline of the community institutions and integration. As you would recall, a levy of 0.5% on imports from outside the community is being collected by member states on behalf of ECOWAS. However, for some time now, access to these funds have been a challenge. This has led to low resource mobilization. The situation is more critical now that our member states under sanctions have stopped remitting the levy. As the financial situation gets more difficult, the tasks for ECOWAS continue to grow. I have been compelled to bring this matter to your attention because we have the community's action plan against terrorism to implement, peacekeeping missions to sustain, vital integration programs to finance, transitions in member states under military rule to support, and various socio-economic and humanitarian problems to tackle. I am confident that your excellencies will give full support to our efforts to access funds that the national customs authorities have collected on behalf of the ECOWAS community. Despite pressures from different quarters, we have kept up with your decision on the Republic of Niger and engage on the terms that you set out for us. The military authorities have unfortunately shown little remorse as they hold on to their untenable positions, holding not only President Bazoum, his family and members of his government hostage, but also the people of Niger. We are aware of the dire humanitarian situation in Niger. And in line with the provisions of our community texts, we granted humanitarian access to medical and humanitarian goods for the sake of the people. But reports from humanitarian agencies show that the military authorities have been interfering with the flow, easy access of humanitarian support.